into that cave. We've got him cornered. Don't catch your boils before they're popped. He could still have a trick up his snotty sleeve. Boil? Well, we know every trick in his book. Have some colon blocking past that, nerdlings. <laughs> Careful! <laughs> Taking candy from a baby. <laughs> Blast! You grossologists have foiled my evil plans once again! Clearly, I'm no match for your superior skill! Oh, you can say that again. Don't you think this was a little too easy? You're telling me. Let's face it, we've been doing this so long, we're just too good. I mean, just last week we snagged Sloppy Joe and Insectiva without breaking a sweat. And now, boil with the fettuccine all. Please. You better watch out, Ty. When it seems too easy, we have to be on top of our game the most. Uh, I could nab Boyle with both hands tied behind my back. We'll just see about that. <laughs> go so that I may never trouble you again. That's laying it on a little thick boil, even for you. But he's right. We get him every time. What's the point of being a grossologist if it's no fun anymore? What's the point of being a grossologist? How about your love of crime fighting? Of hey. science? Of, uh, gross? Look around, Ty. It all started in a cave just like this. The Mount Cowpie Caverns, ladies and gentlemen. For millions of years, water has eroded Ooh. the interior of this extinct <laughs> volcano, giving us this majestic beauty. Isn't it fabulotastic, kids? <sighs> it's okay, I guess. I thought you two were thrilled about science. Yeah, it's nice. I'll bet you could get a heck of an echo going in here. <laughs> sir, uh, sir, the cavern walls, they're very fragile. <laughs> <laughs> That's a heck of an echo, all right. We're trapped! That's the only way out! Oh, oh no! We're trapped. we're trapped! Okay, don't panic. Let's just refer to the manual. No yelling or making loud noises in the caves, and especially no yodeling! We're never gonna get out of here! We're doomed! We're doomed. <laughs> Whoops. Wait a minute. If this is an extinct volcano, there's probably a vent somewhere. Come on, let's go! Hey, looks like this leads somewhere. <gasps> Ammonia, it's the smell of years and years of bat duty. Wow, a mountain of guano. It's so... Compelling. It's like I've waited my whole life for this moment. Ty, Abby, you come back here this instant. Huh? But it's our only way out. Uh, kids, do you realize the mound is moving? Wow. Bugs! Bugs! Ah! Bugs? Interesting. Mom, can we go? Huh? Can we please? We'll send for help! Please! Okay, just this once. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Kids. Wear this. The water will filter out the fecal dust and ammonia fumes caused by the decomposing guano. And you know this how? I read. You never know when you're going to be trapped in a bat cave. There must be a complete food chain right in this cave. Yeah, well, uh, let's try to stay off the menu. 
You heard it here first, folks. A guided tour long overdue, thought trapped in a massive foul-smelling bat cave. If they get out alive, it'll be a miracle! The question is, has anybody stepped forward to brave this grotto of guano and save the lives of those trapped within? Hmm. Interesting. Wow! Who would have thought a bat cave could be so cool? Whoa! Ty! Whoa! <laughs> now this is fabulotastic! <laughs> Yeehaw! to be heroes. We're heroes? Wow, I've tasted gross and I want more. Me too. Who knows what will happen next? Hmm, I have an idea. <laughs> Ty, you've got to try to remember what made us grossologists in the first place. In that bat cave, we found something that made us special. Even at school, people we hardly knew wanted to talk to us. Remember? Why is everybody looking at us? <gasps> Do I have another zip? Hi, I'm Naomi. Uh, I know. <clears throat> is it true you saved a whole bunch of people trapped in a cave? Actually, yes. Wow, was it scary? Nah, it was totally cool. We saw all these great cockroaches and scorpions and centipedes, and there were bat bones all around, and rats were eating everything. And then we slid on this huge mound of bat poop That's and... great. Um, I have to go do something. <laughs> <laughs> I think she likes me. Hey, you're that girl who saved everybody. Oh, you just have to tell me all about it. Let's say 12-ish in the cap. Sounds like you're definitely page posse material. Wow, something tells me that girl and I are going to be the best of friends. Ah! Ty and Abby Archer, I'm the director of the Bureau of Grossology. Bureau of Gross what a what? When I heard about the gauntlet of grossness you two endured in that bat cave, I knew you'd be the perfect recruits. Oh, it wasn't that gross. Just a huge mountain of bat poop covered with poop-eating bugs and bugs that ate those bugs and bats and bats and... Uh, can we think about it? I know, I know, but back then it was new and exciting. Now, now the thrill is gone. What are you saying, Ty? That your career as a grossologist is over? Oh, it's over, all right. Scoop when you've got the tensile strength of pure snot! And marvelous pus! Is there anything it can't do? <laughs> I knew it was too easy! He set us up! <laughs> Indeed. I was leading you into the perfect trap! Fools! <laughs> Being a grossologist isn't fun anymore! You don't even deserve to carry the title of grossologist, as I once did. Awesome. Welcome, new recruits, to the gag lab. Wow, I don't think I ever want to leave. I know the feeling. Ty and mm. Abby Archer meet Lab Rat, mm. our chief uh, gross analyst. Nice to meet you. Mm. Yes. Then now, say hello to our senior field agent, Mr. Lanceboyle. A oh, charm. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, <laughs> uh, pleased to meet you. <laughs> it's such a pleasure to welcome you two aboard my valiant vessel of Veritas. <laughs> your? Don't you mean my? Indeed, your valiant vessel. We lucky few who are the front line against crimes, repulsive and repellent. In other words, if it's gross, we grab it. And we never let it go, it seems. Hey, I've got a system. Of course you do, Paul. Well, that's his real name, you know. Paul Squirfenherder. <laughs> 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 Paul, if the director only knew what a skunk you 
really were. The skunk is a proud and beautiful animal, as was I. And here I was, tasked with training you to pip squeaks. <laughs> your gook shooter is your best friend. Keep it clean, <laughs> and it will save you from bug barrages, fart clouds, and any number of gross attacks. <laughs> oh, uh, I guess that's the trigger. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. Snot and poop and sludge and mold. Snot and poop and sludge and mold. I don't know, but it's been said. I don't know, but it's been said. Pussy zits are sore and red. Pussy zits are sore and red. Grossologist. Huh? It's horrible. It's disgusting. It's pus. Oh, pop another pimple, director. Hmm? Uh -huh. Where's the pus, sir? Everywhere! <laughs> pus is flooding the complex! Uh, what do we do? We handle it, that's what! If we don't stop it here, it'll flood the whole city, and the director will be held responsible! I will? Uh, I mean, I, w I will! You have to do something! Search the gag lab for the source of this pus! I'll check out the vehicle bay. Now get to work! Uh, Mr. Squarfenherder, what should we do first? Search me, and it's lab rat, always lab rat. Ty, remember, we faced worse than this. All that bat guano, all those bugs, all that stink. Yeah, and it was fun, too. I know we've never waded through a pool of pus before, but we've never waded through a pool of pus before. You're right. It's almost a shame we have to stop it at all. But that's our job. We're grossologists. Lab rat, pus is caused by infection. Identify the highest concentration of bacteria. That will lead us to the source. Good thinking. The gross vault. You have a gross vault? <gasps> cool. <laughs> Let's go. What is this? Looks like some kind of pus generator. But who would do this? <laughs> Mr. Boyle? Surprise, surprise, kiddies. You're about to fail your first mission. <laughs> Boyle? What is the meaning of this? Try to replace me with these pathetic amateurs, will you? Hey. I, 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 don't, I don't know what you mean. You've been wanting to force me out from the start. Well, now the pus will flow and you will be disgraced. Then I will save the day and rise to my rightful position as the new director of the Bureau of Grossology. Good luck, Grossologist. <laughs> you were an insult to Grossology and I wasn't going to stand for it. And now... I will rid myself of you once and for all. Blast these tiny arms! I give you the Pussotron. Wait, that's the same old machine. You see, this is what I'm talking about. No imagination anymore. No innovation. No... Quiet! I attacked the gag lab with a mere prototype. But the Pusatron is a thousand times more powerful. Once I seal you in, you'll know what it feels like to be inside a pimple ready to pop. Then this volcano will roar back to life, drenching the city in pus. <laughs> Give up while you still can, Boyle. Yeah. You know we'll get you in the end. Not so, little ones. This time, my plan is foolproof. Proof that you two are fools. Ta -ta. <laughs> well, Ty, you wanted a challenge? You got it! Uh, be careful what you wish for. Just get your wish. Uh, uh, this knot is too tight. 
tight. It's hopeless. Don't give up yet. Remember, it looked hopeless back at the gag lab with Boyle's first pus attack. Uh, Mr. Director, oh, what are we gonna do now? It's hopeless! We're doomed! I guess we have to figure a way out of this ourselves. Lab rat, give us the lowdown on pus. When bacteria invade the body, white blood cells called phagocytes go on the attack. And when the phagocytes eventually die, the resulting muck is pus. So, if we stop the bacteria production, it'll stop the white blood cells, and presto! No more pus! What we need is a big dose of antibiotics to keep those bacteria in line. But where are we gonna get enough antibiotics on such short notice? Guys, this is the gag lab. I've got every gross fighting tool on the planet. <laughs> no, not the shoes, not the shoes! Here! Ugh. I'm going in! Ty! You did it! No, we did it. We just completed our first grossology mission. Cool! Welcome to our last Grossology mission. Uh, talk about Mission Impossible. <sighs> Wait a minute. You're right. Getting out of here and saving the city is going to be impossible. And that's great news. Why? We're Grossologists, Abby. We love impossible. And the more impossible, the better. Ha, now this is fun. Uh, whatever you say. <sighs> Oh, I've got it! We'll crank the Pusatron up all the way! A Pus Rocket! It'll blast through the rocks instead of setting off the volcano! Perfect! Except that we're still tied up! Huh? Uh, the Pus! It loosened the snot! You know, Boyle was right! There really isn't anything Pus can't do! <laughs> it's time to bump some Pus! Hang on tight! It's gonna blow! That's the idea! Ah, nothing like a front row seat at the demise of a couple of grossologists. And the postulation of an entire city. Ultimate victory will soon be mine! <laughs> Get ready to ride the Puss Express! Whoa! Revenge! Revenge! Wow! Talk about bus power! Hey! That's Boyle's airship! Perfect! We're just in time to lance the biggest boil of all! Sorry to ruin your show, Boyle! Grossologists? That's impossible! Waiters, detective. Well, they come in handy around you kids. Come on, Boyle. Blast! You two have been nothing but a pain in the boil from the very beginning! You not only put your fellow grossologists at risk, you endanger the whole city. And all just for your own personal glorification. Can you imagine anyone being so selfish? I'm so glad I huh? managed to stop you in time. Lance Boyle, you are hereby banished from the Bureau of Grossology huh? forever! Which is exactly how long you're going away. One more step and I'll shrink every one of you with my new shrink o -matic. Just try running the Bureau from inside a hamster cage, Director! <laughs> <laughs> no! Not the hair! Not the hair! Ah! Rotten prototype! Oh, oh. Um, I was fiddling with it earlier. I guess this leftover part was something important. What? Whoa! Ah! Ah! You piece of junk! Huh? <gasps> what? What have you done to me, nerdling? I'm hideous! Ooh. Mark my words, I will have my revenge! 
Oh, no, you don't. Gah, that is one slippery fella. But there's no escape this time. Come on, Boyle. Mark my words. This is not the end of Lance Boyle, evil genius. Do you hear me? I have not yet begun to fight. Why does this happen to me every time? <laughs> well, Ty, here we are again, knee deep in something really gross. Yep, and loving every minute of it. Ha, 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 ha.